क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फोर्टी वन स्टूडेंट्स प्रोटीनेशियस पार्ट ऑफ कॉन्जुगेटेड प्रोटीन्स वर्किंग एज एनजाइम्स इज कॉल्ड होलो एनजाइम एपो एनजाइम को एनजाइम को फैक्टर द टर्म होलो एनजाइम स्टूडेंट्स इज अनदर टर्म फॉर कॉन्जुगेटेड प्रोटीन्स विच वर्क एज एन एनजाइम द फुल एनजाइम हियर एंड इन दीज एनजाइम्स द प्रोटीन पार्ट इज कॉल्ड एज द एपो एनजाइम and many of these enzyme exhibit uh, catalytic activity only in association with certain non protein substances called as cofactors and these cofactors could be metal ions or they could be coenzymes or they could be prosthetic groups so the proteinaceous part of the enzyme would be apo enzyme the correct answer here would be option number 2 apo enzyme question number 142 students Activity of enzyme succinic dehydrogenase can be competitively inhibited by competitive inhibition. We are talking about, and we are looking for a inhibitor here: malate, malonate, succinate, acetate. Let's look at an example here according to lock and key hypothesis. Uh, the succinic dehydrogenase enzyme is shown here. Uh, this is the active site of the enzyme. The normal substrate is succinic acid. which would bind to the active site and the competitive inhibitor is malonic acid or malonate which would bind at the same site and compete for it now due to addition of inhibitor in this case the active site of enzyme is blocked by the inhibitor and the enzyme activity would be blocked or reduced and the substrate remains unused in this case thus the succinate is the substrate of the enzyme dehydrogenase whereas the malonic acid is the competitive inhibitor the other examples of uh, competitive inhibition include the inhibition of alcohol dehydrogenase by ethanol in case of methanol poisoning or sulfa drugs for folic acid synthesis which is also used to control the bacterial pathogens so here the correct option students here would be option number 2 malonate question number 143 biocatalyst biocatalyst hasten the rate of a given metabolic conversion that is true students because enzymes catalyze biochemical reactions in the living cells and hence they are called biocatalysts are mostly nucleic acids no the enzymes are mostly proteinaceous in nature except for few or recently discovered two rna enzymes those enzymes are ribozymes and ribonuclease p so this makes it incorrect they are mostly proteinaceous not nucleic acids option 3 work at similar temperature and ph optima well every enzyme functions best within a certain temperature range and ph range for example pepsin which works in stomach functions best in a strongly acidic environment whereas lipase found in uh, small intestine work best in a basic environment so this also is correct they work at different temperature ranges and different phs option 4 act by altering the equilibrium of the reaction option 4 act by altering the equilibrium of the reaction enzymes do not change the equilibrium state of a biochemical reaction they reduce the activation energy and thus increase the rate of reaction but the equilibrium is attained early but and is not changed so this is also incorrect the correct option here students would be option number 1 they hasten the rate of a given metabolic conversion question number 144 monomer of the most abundant biomolecule on earth is glycine and acetyl glucosamine glucose atp let's look at them most abundant biomolecule and we are looking for its monomer the most abundant biomolecule on earth is cellulose and student cellulose is a homopolysaccharide and its monomeric unit is beta glucose so glucose would be the answer here which is its monomeric unit also to note that it's an unbranched polymer no branching is seen in cellulose and the linkage type sometimes is asked is 1 beta 1 to 4 the glucose residues are linked together by this linkage 
Let's look at the other options. Glycine. Glycine is a non-essential amino acid and it's the simplest amino acid. N-acetylglucosamine it's a monomer of chitin and ATP also known as energy currency of the cell. So the correct option here would be glucose. Answer is option number 3. Question number 145. A molecule of ATP bears maximum resemblance to palmitic acid, amino acid, DNA nucleotide, RNA nucleotide. As we know student, adenine is one of the bases in the DNA and RNA as well. On adding a ribose sugar to it, it becomes an adenosine. On adding three phosphate groups to adenosine, we get ATP. And if we remove two of those phosphate groups and link together, we get an RNA nucleotide. Also think to note here that the sugar found in the ATP is ribose. Whereas deoxyribose is found in DNA. Thus, the structure of ATP is very much similar to that structure of an RNA nucleotide. So the answer here would be option number 4. Also look at uh, option number 1 which says palmitic acid. Palmitic acid A and amino acid are incorrect. Also looking at the other options, palmitic acid which is incorrect, amino acid would also be incorrect. DNA nucleotide is incorrect because it has deoxyribose sugar. The correct answer here would be option number 4 RNA nucleotide.